You want to watch what happens when I unbox this puppy in what is probably the worst unboxing video in the history of YouTube? Yeah, the moral is don't drink and unbox. Hi, Peter Charles here, and let's talk about a new lens. I got into uh, 35 millimeter film photography back in 1981. Now I had earlier cameras, but they were two and a quarter square. And I had a, a lust for 35 millimeter. It looked so cool and I had to have one. So I got a Pentax K1000 with a 50 millimeter F2 back in 1981 and I was a real happy camper. However, uh, as time went on, I got a lust for a long lens. I really, really, really wanted long lenses for bird photography, wildlife photography, blah, blah, blah. But the trouble was there were, there were two choices back then. You either got a very expensive lens that I couldn't afford that was fast enough where you could see to focus, or you got a less expensive lens that was so slow with the ground glass and the split image back then, I couldn't focus the thing. It was too dark. So I wrestled with that and wrestled with that and wrestled with that and finally went, oh, you know, there's, there's no uh, right answer to this one. I can't afford the expensive one and I don't want to live with the cheap one. So I went for a long time without getting a long lens until yesterday. And I got this baby. Well, yeah, it's not a fast lens, but we're talking digital photography now with, with these fantastic sensors, with these great uh, ability to handle uh, a, you know, high ISO without excessive noise. They're getting close to being ISO invariant, and uh, so why not? So I picked this up yesterday, and okay, this has been a torture, okay, guys? This has been sitting on this table for 24 hours and I haven't touched it because I wanted to do this video. All right, so, you know, let's get started. Uh, let's see if we can get it open first. Our thready fingers, okay? We'll get it there. Ugh. It's proof I haven't opened this yet. I can't even get the damn box open. Okay. We're getting there. Wait till you have arthritis. You can see that? It's proof. <laughs> Here we go. Got it. There we go. We're good. Oh, no wonder I was having problems. It was on its side. Uh, no, it's upside down. I was opening the bottom. Oh, this is a great unboxing video, right? <laughs> I'm opening the bottom. Oh, this is pathetic. Okay. Laugh at me, all right? Have your fun. There we go. Oh, this will work. Ah, uh, this, okay, this is going to be on YouTube bloopers for the worst unboxing video in the history of YouTube. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, this looks like a uh, pouch. I'm guessing it's a pouch. Yep, it's a pouch, which is a very good idea. When you got a lens like this, it's very easy to damage it, so some, this works good. Okay, paperwork. Okay, we'll know what to do with the paperwork. We have a strap, which is a good idea. Uh, long lenses, you want to hang the lens from the strap, not the camera. It takes the stress off the camera. And it's pretty broad, so that's going to be easy on old shoulders. There we go. This is the foot for the tripod mount. Uh, it looks like it slides in, so that looks cool. Arca Swiss mount, I don't have one of those, but you have a 
three uh, sixteenths and you have a one quarter. So you can put your uh, adapter of your choice on the bottom of that. That'll work fine. Nice silver finish too, by the way. And that's a release, obviously. I know, this is the worst unboxing video in history, YouTube. Get over it. Oh, oh Jesus. You didn't hear that, right? Okay, lens hood. Let's get this off first. Some yellow tape. Okay, I've had a couple of glasses of wine already, okay? It's been a tough afternoon. There we go, we got it. Oh my, what a beastie. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, we have a focus limiter. So full, which is everything, or in five meters to infinity, which is cool. You know, it helps you deal with different changes in focal length when you're, if you don't have to focus close, why, close, why bother? Yeah, things happen faster if you limit it. Okay, aperture ring, manual or automatic. Okay, here we have a three position autofocus lever, which is different. A lot of lenses have a two position. This one is three, lock, preset, and autofocus. So locking, obviously it locks in that position. Preset, we've got buttons around here. And if you use the preset, you can lock in focus using one of these buttons. I've read about it, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't know about this, but you press on one of these buttons and you can lock that focus and then you pick another button. Of course, the challenge will be to remember which button you pick for what distance. But if you manage to do that, uh, you can press the button and it works. It'll zoom in. Focusing ring. Okay. I'm a big hater of fly-by-wire focus, but you know what? That's nice and smooth. It's not loosey-goosey. Um, I've had a few lenses in the past where this is so sloppy. It's like, why bother? And, the, oh, boy, Lord, that's a short throw. I like this. There's your focus, and it's very short. No, sorry, zoom. There's your zoom range. Very short throw. That's going to be very handy. Because if you're sitting there and you're going like this to zoom, and I've done that, all right? We've been all been there. Zoom, 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 zoom. Uh, you, your end of your lens is going like this as you're doing that. That short throw is very handy. And you notice there's no change in the length of the lens. Focus or zoom. Everything's internal. I've used... 300 millimeter lenses in the past. That's the longest lens I've ever owned before this one is 300 millimeter. And uh, when you're either focusing, zooming, or both, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, it's going in and out. And if it gets really long, it changes the balance. So you're trying to zoom into something and it's changing the balance. And now you're dipping and weaving and you've lost whatever it is you're trying to focus on. This, the fact it doesn't change the balance of the lens, focus or zoom, that's a big deal. The other thing you have is a, a, a zoom ring. Oh, good Lord. This is going to, I told you, this is the unboxing video from hell. Um, aperture ring. It's an aperture ring. You have a real aperture ring. And I... I, I Okay, I can handle doing the z z z with the, the little dial, but having a real aperture ring is cool. I, I much prefer that. It does not have the f-stops on it, which makes sense because it's variable. If you see other uh, uh, Fujifilm zooms that have variable aperture, they don't have the uh, f-stop markings on them because they're basically, I won't call them completely fly-by-wire, fly but... Uh, you know, 
because it's variable aperture, they don't have the, the markings on them. But when you're looking in the viewfinder and you turn that dial, you can see what's happening. All right, so let's have a look at this. There's another button down here I haven't talked about. This is to set these buttons. I read that in the manual this morning, by the way. Yeah, I do I actually do read the manual. And those buttons, there's four of them, and you can set the, pre, uh, the focus distance with using that button, which is very handy. Uh, obviously, this is the knob to loosen the, uh, the coil. Uh, the... <laughs> I don't have a glass of wine before doing unboxing videos, Charles. Uh, this is the button to un uh, loosen the tripod collar, which is very cool. And then, of course, we have the mount and all that kind of good stuff. And the lugs for the uh, strap, which is very handy because it balances when it's around your neck, which is a good thing. So let's put a camera on this. This is my X-T3 and I've got the 135 F2 on it. Let's try not to get too much dirt in the lens. Let's see what this puppy feels like when it's on the lens. You know what, That's, it's heavy obviously because it's big but it like it balances right in my hand which is nice so it means that handheld photography without a, um, a tripod or a monopod or whatever that's gonna work I can I can live with this that's that's actually not bad at all I mean I got arthritis in my fingers okay I mean an old fart but this is going to work. Camera feels, you know, the camera feels right. Okay, the X-T3 is not a big body, but it's comfortable. That's important, right? If you're out all day with a lens and a camera, it's got to feel right in your hand. After a while, if it doesn't, it, after a while, you're going, mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're, it starts to feel odd and it distracts. And I think when you're trying to be creative, whatever it is you're trying to be creative about, you know, if there's a distraction, it, you know, it causes your creativity to diminish somewhat because you're not paying attention to your image. You're paying attention to whatever is bothering you. And the balance is nice. And I think that when you zoom, the balance doesn't change when you focus the balance doesn't change that's cool so you know i'm going to enjoy this i really am okay it's been 41 years in the making before i got one of these so yeah i'm going to enjoy it oh yeah i might as well talk about the lens hood right okay get that out of the way uh here we are The other thing worth mentioning, it comes with a little door that you can open and close. Let's see if I can show the show you this. Close, open. So if you're using a uh, polarizing filter, you can get your finger in there and work the filter. Otherwise, you leave it closed. What's nice about this? I've had other lenses with these little adapters before or not adapters but little doors but they come off so then you lose them so they're permanently off this one is a door slides that's well done last thing it takes an 82 millimeter filter so you know if you need a protection filter get one but other than that i'm looking forward to using this puppy uh, so stay tuned. I'll be out at some point in the next couple of weeks, month, whatever, whenever the weather is good. And I'm going to see if I can get some winter birds, uh, you know, chickadees, cardinals, nuthatches, uh, woodpeckers, whatever happens to be around. And we'll see what we can deliver. So stay tuned. Cheers.